Welcome students to class 3 maths lesson 3 subtraction session 3.1. In this session we will study subtraction without borrowing. The result obtained after subtraction is called difference. Subtraction without borrowing. Let us take an example. Subtract 348 from 799. Write the number sentence. So for this, we will first write the place values that is 100, tens and ones. And then we will write the number from which we have to subtract which is 799. And below it we will write 348. Look at the ones column. We have 9 minus 8 which gives us 1. Then the tens column, we have 9 minus 4, which gives us 5. Then the hundreds column, we have 7 minus 3, which gives us 4. So we get the answer as 4, 5, 1. Now we have to write the number sentence. So we will write 799 minus 3, 4, 8 is equal to 4, 5, 1. One more example, subtract 4652 from 8775. Write the number sentence. Here again, we will write the place values on top. After that, we will write the bigger number, 8775. Because from this number, we have to subtract the other number. The second number is 4652. So we will write 4652 below this. Now we'll subtract. We will start from the ones column. 5 minus 2 will give us 3. In the tens column, then we have 7 minus 5, which will give us 2. Then in the hundreds column, we have 7 minus 6, which will give us 1. And then finally, in the thousands column, we have 8 minus 4, which will give us 4. So our answer will become 4, 1, 2, 3. Now again, we have to write the number sentence here. So it will be 8775 minus 4652 is equal to 4123. Third example, fill in the boxes. Here again we will start like normal subtraction from the ones column. 8 minus 3, this will give us 5. Then we go to the tens column. We have a blank minus 1 and the answer is given to us as 6. So from what we will minus 1 so that we get 6. For this, we will add this 1 and 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So here we will get 7. Now coming to the hundreds column, dash minus 4 should give us 2. For this, we will add 4 and 2. 4 plus 2, 6. And we write 6 here. You can also cross check 6 minus 4 is 2. Now 5 minus dash is 1. From 5, what should you minus that you get the answer as 1? For this, we will subtract 1 from 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. So, we will write 4 here. Here again, you can cross check students. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, this is how you will do the fill in the boxes question. Students, please note if digits are missing in these two rows, that is the number to be subtracted, and the answer that you get. You will subtract to get the answer. And if the digits are missing in the top row, that is the number from which you are subtracting the other number, you will add the remaining numbers in that particular column. Like for example, in the tens column, 7 was not given. So we did 6 plus 1 to get 7. Now students, we are ready for a worksheet. Get ready with your paper and pen. First question, 873 minus 561. Question 2, 7674 minus 4231. Question 3, 8419 minus 7118. Question 4, find the difference between 7412 and 9635. Write the number sentence. Question 5, fill in the boxes. Dear students, I request you to pause the video, go back and ensure that you have attempted all questions, 
Only after getting answers of all the questions should you unpause the video and see the solutions. The first question 873 minus 561 gives us the answer as 312. Question 2 7674 minus 4231 gives us 3443. Question 3 8419 minus 7118 gives us the answer as 1301. Question 4. Find the difference between 7412 and 9635. Write the number sentence. So when we subtract this, we get 2223. And in the number sentence, we will write it as 9635 minus 7412 is equal to 2223. Question 5. Fill in the boxes. For this question, we'll start with the ones column dash minus 3 is equal to 6. So we will add 6 and 3 and we get 9 here. Then the next tenths column we have 5 minus 1 which will give us 4. After that in the hundreds column we have dash minus 4 is equal to 4. So we will add both the 4s that gives us 8. Then in the thousands column we have 8 minus dash is equal to 2. So we will subtract this 2 from 8 which will give us 6. You can cross check 8 minus 6 is 2. This brings us to the end of the worksheet. Go to the channel page and do check out the playlist. I have different playlists for class 3 maths, class 4 maths and class 5 maths. There is a playlist on tricks for tables also. And in case you are in a mood for art, there is a playlist for that too.